One Health requires a multisectoral approach because the diseases which we work on affect multiple sectors. So a disease like Rift Valley Fever, for example, affects animals, it also affects people. And so you need all these sectors to come together for such diseases to be better managed. The diseases which require One Health approach are complex and they affect several sectors, including agriculture, human health, environment. And that's why you need multiple sectors, you need various professionals to come together, including medical professionals, veterinarians, um, ecologists, to combine efforts in understanding how these diseases are transmitted between these sectors. Let's use Rift Valley Fever as, a, as an example to demonstrate why we need a multisectoral approach. The disease first starts affecting livestock before it jumps to humans. So in that sense, you need all these sectors to share information on how the disease is occurring. For example, let's consider in 1996-97 outbreak of Rift Valley Fever up to 20,000 people were affected and slightly over 100 died. But 10 years later, in 2006-2007, only 700 cases were reported. It doesn't really strongly show any impact, but between 1996 and 2007, Kenya developed a One Health approach to zoonotic diseases. And that enhanced the response, sharing of information, as well as implementation of management measures. So in a nutshell, One Health approach helps in motivating or in, in enhancing response and surveillance as well as implementation of disease control measures. So actions which are required to strengthen One Health is basically to change our, our approach. We need to change from focusing on disease control to prevention. And that requires a change in culture, change in partnerships arrangement, change in how we plan for disease control. Uh, we can cite at least two key actions that are required. One is mainstreaming One Health, right from the national, subnational to community levels, to help in developing a coordination plan uh, between uh, communities between professionals. The other one is building a One Health workforce um, which then takes over the implementation of One Health interventions.